Hello guys, my name is Ravindra Mina. This video is going to be very exciting. In this video, we will talk about what are the other alternatives of Google Summer of Code. If you don't know anything about Google Summer of Code, then I have shared a link below in description to my previous video, which explains what is Google Summer of Code and how to write impressive Google Summer of Code proposal. So let's begin. After researching online, I found that there are other eight alternatives of Google Summer of Code. I will talk about each one of them one by one and I will mainly characterize between like what this organization do and what is the eligibility and what will be the stipend. So let's begin. So now let's first talk about Google Coding. Google Coding eligibility is that the students should be between 13 to 18 and pre-university students can only apply here. Parental consent is also required for the application procedure. and. If you successfully complete this Google Coding pro project, then you will get the goodies and digital certificate and also a sponsored trip to Google headquarter. I have read the people's experience who actually went to Google headquarter after successfully completing the Google Coding. Uh, they had common feedback like they really liked the Google headquarter office. Now the second one is Season of Talks. Uh, it's also organized by the Google only. Its eligibility is that the student should be at least 18 while registering and and this program is open to all uh, no matter if you are a college student or not so only condition is that you should be above 18 only its stipend is between 2400 to 6600 US dollar the third one is code heat the code heat is organized by the force Asia its eligibility is that uh, anyone can participate uh, it, no matter if you are a college student or not uh, only condition is that uh, you must be able to travel to Singapore uh, if you are selected as a grand prize winner and his stipend is uh, that you will get the goodies and digital certificate and, and you will also get $600 as a travel support to Singapore for attending the conference and the fourth one is outreachy its eligibility is that uh, anyone can apply who is above 18 no matter if you are a college student or not it is stipend is uh, 5500 us dollar and uh, out of these 500 is for the sponsored trip to for attending the conference now the fifth one is coding blocks and its eligibility is that only indian students can apply here so the stipend is there is no such stipend all 10 rank holders will get the goodies and out of which top 5 rankers will get their devices like macbook fitbit oneplus and there is also a playstation this type of devices will be given to the top 5 rankers only and they will also get the goodies also now the sixth one is kde anyone can apply here there is no age limit or anything anyone can apply here it is open to all but the only thing is that there is no stipend only you will get is the sponsored trip for attending the conference now the seventh one is rails girl summer of code this program is especially for the girls uh, to increase them towards the open source contribution uh, so only eligibility is that only girls are allowed to participate here and stipend is between 3000 to 6000 us dollar which is pretty good amount this range is because it totally depends on the location where your college is located. And the last one is October Fest. Its eligibility is that anyone can apply here. It is open to all, irrespective of college or age. And there is no such, such stipend. Only you will get is the t-shirt and the stickers. I did this October Fest in 2018. So guys, that's all in this video. If you know any other programs which is similar to the Google Summer of Code or which is similar to the programs which I explained in this video, please let me know in the comment section so that as many people can take benefit from it. I hope that you like this video. Please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. All the best. Keep coding.